Good morning. It's Saturday, and uh, it may be a little bit cold in the Athens area, but it is warm inside the Butts Mirror Building. Uh, Georgia, massive, massive, massive addition to the coaching staff today. Traveris Robinson, Rusty, I think we can both list, both say, and we're going to get to Will Muschamp and all that, but I think we can both say been at this for a long time, and there just aren't very many better in terms of recruiting, in terms of actual coaches, um, is as good of an assistant coach as there is out there. Yeah, I thought about it, Jake. We talked about this. And when you're recruiting against Georgia, there's a few people you don't want to have their name mentioned. If you're recruiting inside linebackers, you don't want to have Glenn Schumann's name mentioned. Okay, and let's just be, be real here. If you hear Brian Hartline around a wide receiver from Ohio State, you're like, damn it, you don't want to recruit against that guy either. When you say t Rob is involved with a big-time defensive back, oof, you know you got your hands full. And Georgia has been on the other side of that for a while. And, you know, um, this guy has won some major, major recruiting battles. But more importantly, or just as importantly, more importantly, everyone that I've ever talked to about this guy uh, have just raved about who he is, how he is, and what type of person he is on and off the field. I think it's going to resonate great with the current players. I think he's going to resonate great with uh, – you know, the people um, that he's going to be in these homes and Kirby Smart. And let me say some very, very, very close to Will Muschamp. And I, I think the role, you know, Jake, you made the announcement he's going to an off the field role. But uh, I think it was just a it was a slam. It was a grand slam for Kirby Smart. If you're going to take Will Muschamp and put him off the field so he can spend some more time with his family. And he's earned that. He's earned that. Uh, now with a son, going to be playing college football, too. To get T-Rob. That is, I don't know that Kirby Smart could have played this any better. You know, one of the things I'll say is that um, years ago, I, I think it was like early on when when Georgia was recruiting, or right around the time D'Angelo Gibbs and and all those guys were in school. I was at um, it was when D'Angelo Gibbs was still at Peachtree Ridge, and I was there, and I remember um, I remember T. Rob, you know, being there, and and I, you know, I introduced myself. We talked. For about yeah. an hour, honestly, we just kind of stood right there beside, watched the whole practice. Everything went on, and uh, I remember I talked to a couple coaches. I went to another high school, and I talked to a couple coaches about where I was at, and um, one of them was a Georgia coach, and told them where I was at and who I saw and everything like that. And I said, "Yeah, T. Rob was there." And the first thing those coaches asked me was, "What did T. Rob think of them?" Like just mm -hmm. immediately, like they they wanted yeah. to know what he thought of those players that we were watching. Because that's how well respected he is, you know, and, and that was that was two different coaches at two different schools um, yeah. that I just that I just happen to know. So it's it's one of those things, man, where he is a he's a well respected dude in the business. Only forty two years old, which is young in this business. Not Glenn Schumann young, but it's young, um, you know. So uh, not compared to me, I'm only forty. But uh, he uh, <laughs> T Rob's a great assistant coach. He's been really well respected for a long, long time. And Will Muschamp, you know, listen, they spent ten straight years together, Rusty. They I think spent he's the one straight that, years. I think he is the one that was the lead recruiter on J.C. Horn, who was out of Alpharetta High School. Yeah, so, yeah. Jordan Birch as well. Uh, oh, oh, by the way, he was a first round defensive back. Yeah, from Metro, from Metro Atlanta. You know what I mean? Yeah. So. Yeah. You know, everybody's going to talk about Caleb Downs and, and him winning that battle. But th this has been going on a while now. I mean, this guy, not only, he evaled J.C. Horn, signed him at South Carolina, developed him, and he was a, I believe, a top 10 pick, 12 pick like that first rounder for the yeah. Carolina Panthers. But, so, I mean, outside of his position group, you know, you got Jordan Birch. I mean, he landed Vernon Hargraves at at Florida. Um, You know, he's yeah. he's he's played a role in landing some big, big he, time. He's been, been in some big boy battles. Yes, sir. Called. There's no doubt some about grown, it. Some and grown man battles. Doing it at different positions. And, and 10 straight years with Will Muschamp. I believe they had four um, four or five together there at Florida. They had the one year together at Auburn, and then they had the time together at South Carolina, and they ended up together for 10 years. Um, you know, he, he ended up crossing paths with uh, with Mike Bobo there a little bit at South Carolina. So, But, but for him to step in as co-defensive backs coach, as safeties coach. Co-defensive coordinator. Yeah, the co-defense coordinator, right? Co-defense coordinator and safeties coach. And yep. then you got yep. Dante Williams coaching cornerbacks, two of the most well-respected recruiters in the country. Listen, I don't know that Georgia needed a whole lot of help at recruiting defensive backs because I think they might have just landed one of the best halls of defensive backs we've ever seen them land yep. um, with K.J. Bolden, with 
with uh, uh, you know Demello Jones and Ellis Robinson and Andre Evans. I mean, that's that's a big deal group. But if you want to keep on that path, you hire a guy like T. Rob. Let's talk about this. When you take T. Rob, we call him T. Rob. It's Travis Robinson. Played at Auburn. He was been the defensive secondary coach at Alabama the last couple of years. All right. So a couple of years ago, let's go back to 2021, January of 2021. He recruits and he signs Jake Pope out of Buford High School. Georgia recruited Jake Pope, didn't get him. They really got down to North Carolina and Alabama. His dad played at Clemson. Uh, Georgia was heavily involved at the time, didn't get him. So let's fast forward to last night, and Jake Pope commits to Georgia in the transfer portal from Alabama. Oh, by the way, he was in the transfer portal before all the coaching changes took place. So don't think for one minute that Jake Pope is sitting on that roster without Traveris Robinson, t Rob giving a scouting report, knowing, hey, this guy can play here. I've, I've recruited him. I've coached him. Uh, that's kind of getting, you know, that's kind of under the radar this morning. But now it all makes sense because you think Kirby Smart and Glenn Schumann didn't get a good scouting report on him? Here's the guy that recruited him. And here's the guy that's coached him every single day for the last two years. Absolutely. And, Rusty, let's let's transition this thing to Will Muschamp here for just a second because – yeah. yeah. Um, We've talked about this. I believe stepping away from the game altogether was on the table for Will Muschamp, and he's not doing that. How big is that, that, yeah, that, he, that Georgia keeps him in the building? That's a big deal because here, here's the invaluable part of Will Muschamp. You can look at the numbers. I don't know all the numbers, but Will Muschamp got $30, 35000000 million, okay? And he, was, he could have been done. The guy is coaching college football in this day and age. He had a son. It was a walk on at Georgia. Now he has a son. That's a scholarship quarterback at Vanderbilt just signed uh, um, and turned down offers from other places. And he's going to Vanderbilt. So he'll have a chance on the off the field role to do some things where he can go spend some time. He can go watch his kid play. I don't think this is going to be a seven day a week deal. I really don't. But I do think that Will Muschamp still going to be involved at Georgia. He's still going to be involved game plan, but if you look for Kirby Smart's perspective, those two have been very close. And to have somebody that has sat in the in the SEC, in the head coaching room as a head coach, two different places in the SEC is invaluable for Kirby Smart because if he comes up on something, he can always bring Will Muschamp in and shut the door and say, what did you do here? Or, you know, ask his input there. So uh, T-Rob is not at Georgia without Will Muschamp. There, there's a very small chance. Those two are very close. They work together. They know each other. Uh, that's just, it's just all full circle, man. It's crazy how it all comes together. Let me address because everybody keeps it. Let me just address it here. I've addressed it on our, on our, on our board this morning, Caleb Downs. Um, Caleb Downs is not in the portal. We, we have it. Caleb Downs is not in the portal. So there's no news there. Now let me express this too. The timing of the coaching change at Alabama really made it very hard for any of those kids to leave. And, uh, you know, if you're going to go somewhere, if you were to leave Alabama, if that was your choice, your best option would be go to somewhere that hasn't started school yet. Uh, Georgia has started school with about 85 percent of the schools around the country. So the drop ad and all that stuff, it's just almost impossible to do. Now, if a player were to leave Alabama, they could get in the portal now. They could get in the portal now and finish the semester at Alabama and go wherever they want in May. And Georgia had two players do that last year, Jake. Remember, they had Don Blaylock and Riley Goatee. Both of those guys got into the portal and did not practice at Georgia. All they did was go to class, work out on their own, and Riley Goatee went to Mississippi State and Don Blaylock went to Georgia Tech. So, you know, there's no, there's no discussion on Caleb Downs. You know, if he ever gets into the portal, I can tell you that Georgia would be very, very aggressive to try to land a player like that, but he is not in the portal. And and, and the timing of all this, uh, you know, if Saban retires on Monday, totally different game, but he retired on Wednesday afternoon. And that was three days, I think three days of classes at Bama. So there's a lot, there's a lot of detail of that. It's not as easy as people think like, Hey, he's coming straight to Georgia. That's not, that's not, that's not how this thing works. So I just want to kind of be uh, kind of understand there in Georgia, um, you know, it's a spring semester and, Alabama has spring semester, those types of things. So there's a lot, there's a lot to it. So if Caleb Down goes into the portal, we will definitely say what we're hearing. But there's nothing to discuss there. He's not in the portal, and the timing is not great for some of those kids if they were even going to try to take a chance and look somewhere else. Absolutely. And and that's I mean, that's as much as you can ask 
from, right. from from us on this whole thing. Like, I mean, I get it. I know everybody wants to know, um, you know, is, be guy, is he coming? Is he coming? Yeah. Um, d don't know. As of right now, no, absolutely not. Mm -hmm. um, you know, there were some rumors that he was in town. Those were not true. There were some rumors that he was in town a couple of days ago and somebody was hitting me up and I was like, I don't care if he was or he wasn't because he's not in the portal, so it doesn't matter. And, yeah, and that, that, that's here. kind of the line you yeah. have to draw in the sand in this business when it comes to this yeah. whole deal. I remember Brian Bercy used to always come down and hang out with Tate Ratledge. I used to get those text messages. Brian Bercy is going to transfer from Clemson to Georgia. Well, no, he's coming down to hang out with Tate Ratledge because those two are really close. You know what I mean? And Justice Haynes is really close with some guys in Athens. And I see pictures. People send me those pictures all the time, social media. They're out. He's some guys he went to high school with. They go to Georgia. So, um, again, listen, guys, I, I know everybody wants to say, and it's, you know, Nature Boy says not as difficult as some think. Here's what I will say, and Jake, I've asked three different people on this. If anybody were to go to the University of Georgia, pass drop ad, it's in one person's hands, and it's not Kirby Smart. It would be the president of the University of Georgia. He has to make that decision. And from my understanding, from asking around everyone I know, that precedent hasn't been set. So uh, I, I don't want this conversation to turn into that, but I want to answer these questions right now. And I want to be clear with everybody. If Caleb Downs were to ever go into portal, Georgia would be very aggressive there. He is not right now. And who knows? So uh, we haven't heard anything. That's all speculation on our part. I know he's a very talented player. I know he's from the state of Georgia. I know I know T. Rob was his lead recruiter, and they're very close. So we just see how things play out. But we can't answer questions on, on just trying to say hypotheticals. Yeah, 100%. And uh, – mm. Listen, there's there's a lot more going on right now. I mean, you know, Georgia's got a, a fantastic group of, of youngsters in town for a, for a junior day type deal, loaded visit list. Oh, my goodness. We've got it over at Dogs. It's one, I, I said it earlier this week on Twitter. It's one of the best I've ever seen. In, I, told, in, in I, told Jay, this. I told Chad Simmons this morning because we were texting. I said, Chad, I don't know that I've ever put a list out on a, on a recruiting site that I've ever worked for that I know for 100% take 100% that every one of those kids on that list is a take not a, not yeah. a not a let's recruit him and see like every person we have on that list on Dog Jake's Q is a take, a take. could commit could see commit today if they wanted to and George would say yes please could, yes so please please come and we will take you and it is heavily heavily I'd say 90% of that list state of Georgia so it is a massive deal Absolutely. And another transfer target in town confirmed last night. Um, you know, I'll give Steve Wiltfong the credit for reporting it first, um, but confirmed last night that Georgia is hosting a tight end out of Stanford. Uh, Benjamin Urasek. Um, hey, listen, I know that, that folks are like, oh man, our tight end room's loaded. This kid and in 2021 had the, if you took his season, just transposed it over to Georgia. It would be the best tight end season in the history of Georgia football for anybody not named Brock Bowers. Um, yeah. He had over 600 yards receiving in 2021. He had a, he had 92 catches over 2021 and 2022. He was dinged up last year, only played in six games. This guy's a dude, and he's in town for and he's in Athens this weekend. So that's another body. one we're keeping an eye on. Big body, big yeah. body guy. Big six body five, guy. six six, 245, 250 pounds. I think as we look forward to to the next class 2025 kids there today i don't some people some people know exactly who he is some people don't go look at elias williams who's committed to georgia out of camden county and i'm telling you right now this is going to be one of the most uh freaky uh tight end prospects that georgia's recruited in a long time this guy's six seven so he's darnell washington height and he's 220 pounds and the dude runs I mean, this is crazy. He's an a high level AAU basketball player, but he is more importantly a football player. He is committed to Georgia. He's going to be in Athens today. And I challenge you, man, go watch him. He's originally from Charlton County and he transferred over to Camden, which is right up the road where people don't know the, 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 the uh, map there in Southeast Georgia. And I did some stuff earlier this week. I had a meeting with Champ Bailey and Champ Bailey, obviously Charlton County. And we got to talking about, we were talking about him. And I said, Champ, have you ever seen anything like it? He goes, not, not in South Georgia like that. Like, I've never seen anybody that big, that athletic. It's just hard to do. He goes, I, I saw him play basketball. I could not believe it. So you want to start talking about transitioning 
from to the 2025 class and you want to get excited, go watch those tight end highlights of that dude running routes. Holy, you know what? Yeah, he's a freak. He is an absolute freak. And uh, um, that's where a lot of people are really, you, you know, th that basketball background is where a lot of folks really get kind of enthralled with him because he's just, he's such a big, smooth Ooh. athlete. And, um, you know, Georgia's loading up that room, man. And, and they, you know, the, mm -hmm. they are continuing. I'll tell you what, Rusty, I've been blown away at how Georgia just continues to work on that roster. Yeah. Um, I mean, you know, Jake Pope last night hosting the tight end. Now, listen, the tight end may be a little bit of a different story because we'll understand he might be a graduate. Graduates are, a, are are not a completely different deal, but a slightly different deal in, in yes. some of these instances than normal students. Um, so, you know, don't know what the timeline would be there, but would it shock me if that was a little bit of a different situation? We don't want to get too deep into that. But what we do know is Georgia's got Traveris Robinson on its coaching staff. It has Will Muschamp still on its coaching staff as an analyst. Um, and, you know, everything else is intact as of right now. Alabama hired a new head coach last night and Kalen DeBoer. Interested to see how that plays out. Um, don't know right now if that's going to have any sort of impact on Georgia or not. We'll see going forward. But, uh, you know, Georgia continues to work on that roster. They're, you can you know that there are probably a few kids they're being in contact with to sign in February if, if it's possible. We know Terry Bussey's out there is another yeah. one. So uh, it's, you know, there, there's a lot going on at Georgia. And, uh, and, you know, there's a lot going on behind the scenes. There's a lot going on that's, you know, that, that we're going to all find out here about in the next couple of weeks. And, uh, Rusty, I can't think of a better place to be than Dogs HQ, that's for sure. We had a chance – I had a chance to interview Kirby Wednesday morning on a radio show in Atlanta. And Jake and um, Palmer did a good job of following that up and, and writing all the articles. And go, go read the article on Dogs HQ about how Kirby spoke about Carson Beck and what he thought about his growth was. And I'm – I'm telling you, man, that is uh, – if I don't get you excited about the season and, and those things, I thought Kirby had a great point. He said, look, I told you there's no wrong answer here. If you go to the pro, if you go to the NFL, it's good for you. If you come back to Georgia, that's good for you. So there's a couple of things there I thought was really good. Uh, Nature Boy, thank you for spelling that out there. That is how you spell that, is Elias Williams. And uh, Brian McPhail there comment, hunting season. I don't hunt. Um, I just, I'm not, I, I can't sit out there and, and it's too cold for me, man. Um, I'll watch no, you can't there. sit out there and hunt because it all that y'all, the dinging and buzzing from that phone's gonna scare them all off. I, you gotta I, turn dude, the phone I, off. I can't have Wi Fi, that's for damn sure. So, uh, you know, cool story, David Andrews. You know, and many, many people follow him. Uh, just, just moved down here to you know, to Georgia or this part of Georgia, uh, kind of up here close to me. and had his first night out in back in Georgia last night. Took his little boy hunting and put on Twitter this morning. He killed a big deer, and uh, you know, so you start talking about the hunting. But uh, this is MVP camp, man. This is my MVP camp year. I had a talk with Jake earlier. Uh, we're going to do some apparel for Dogs HQ. We got some meetings. People ask me all the time, "How can we get Dogs HQ apparel?" We're going to get all that done. But really want to jump on with you, man. Just so much going on. So much has happened this week. So much has happened in the last twenty four hours. Uh, I can't overemphasize this subject. This is a massive freaking hire for Georgia. And I'm telling you right now, T-Rob is the guy that you do not want your name mentioned against. You remember all you people have followed it long, long time, and he's been at many different schools. You never want to be that D-line guy going against Rodney Garner. You know what I mean? Like Rodney Garner back in the day, it was a, it was over. It was a wrap. And, yeah, uh, Rodney Garner, Dan Brooks, you didn't, you yeah, didn't want to be recruiting was, on the other side yeah, of those dudes. Yeah, dude, it was it was, it was a wrap. So, uh, you know, but uh, massive, massive hire, man. And, and, and Kirby Smart, I don't know how the hell he pulled it off. But to get Dante Williams, who is a very respected coach from USC, to be a DB guy, and you get T-Rob in here and you keep Will Muschamp, I, I don't know how it would turn out any better for him. Unbelievable. Yeah, uh, yeah you're right. And, and you know, listen, you're not supposed – I guess – you don't hear this when you talk about the team you cover very often, but uh, the rich get richer in this instance. I, you know, I've seen some Alabama fans put it on Twitter. Uh, you know, I think they were hoping that somebody was going to shake loose um, out of Muschamp, Schumann, and and uh, and T. Rob whenever you know the T. Rob was hired. T. Rob was hired, and Georgia gets to keep them all. And uh, you know, listen, there's a reason that Georgia is uh, favored to win the national championship going into 2024, and. Uh, we're just getting started, so come see us over at Dogs HQ. Like and subscribe to the channel. Um, tell your friends about it. Tell us, tell all about it. We are growing 100 miles an hour because of you guys, 
And uh, thank you very much. And and listen, it's the tip of the iceberg, and we're excited about it. But for this big, Saturday morning, basketball game, big, big yeah, basketball game today. That's right. Yeah, twenty two minutes away from tip with number five Tennessee. Georgia's on a ten game win streak. Y'all go check out Palmer Tom's. He'll have that covered for you over there too. So. Again, like I said, tip of the iceberg. We're ready to do it. We'll be back with you Sunday night to talk more about all of this with our with our uh, Georgia show at night. And then uh, next week with Bark After Dark and two more Georgia shows on Tuesday and Thursday. Y'all take it easy. <laughs>